That's funny. <laughs> I like this intro. Seinfeld was on Larry King the other day. They had a bit of a misunderstanding. There's a lot of controversy about this. Let's watch and see who's the guilty party. Seinfeld on Larry King. It lasted how long? Nine years. 180 episodes. You gave it up, right? I did. So. They didn't cancel you. You canceled them. You're not aware of this? No, I'm, I'm asking you. You think I got canceled? Are you under the impression I, that I, I got canceled? You, I hurt you, Jerry. I thought don't, that was pretty well documented. Don't this is most a, shows. Is this still down. CNN? Don't. I was the number one show on television, Larry. You were Do all you know who I am? <laughs> Jewish guy, Brooklyn. Yes. Okay. 75 what? million viewers. Last okay. episode. What? You don't don't take it canceled. so bad. Well, that's a, the big difference between being canceled and being number one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> We'll be right back. Jeez. B movie opens. <laughs> B movie Can we opens. Get a resume in here for B me. B movie opens so tomorrow. Go over? I, I, we'll be right back. Uh, that's awesome. I've heard this before. That was the first time I watched it. Here's what's the situation. Seinfeld wasn't kidding. He was totally pissed. <laughs> okay, that's my analysis. All right, and then at the end, Larry King got pissed. <laughs> and he's like, okay, sheesh, lay off. All right, I'm 89. I, I don't ever study for any of these interviews. Did you not get the memo on that? <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with you. You can see how upset he was. And it's just funny because you know when a celebrity just has a big head. And he has a big head. I mean, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that Seinfeld has a big head. You'd think of all the people that Seinfeld wouldn't. Dude, who cares, man? You got $800 million in the bank. And so clueless Larry King doesn't know that you weren't canceled. Yeah, who cares? Why get so offended? I would have been really amused. I would have been like, canceled? Yeah, maybe. Look into it. I mean, what difference does it make? He actually got upset there. That's a little clownish, actually. I'm very disappointed. It, like, and Larry King being upset at that? I don't mind that, because we know who Larry King is. He's like level below old grandpa who can't remember shit. Right? Oh like, you think he studies for the guests? Come on. And I run into him all the time. But I, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a friend of his. You know what happens here is me running into him. He's walking this way. I'm jogging this way. I'm like, hi. He's like, what the fuck is that? Well, okay, I have a question for you. So now that Seinfeld is done, right? Yeah. I mean, do you think people are going to remember who he is, I don't know, 15 years from now? Well, he's or not a, even, like 10 years from now? He's the guy who got canceled, right? <laughs> I mean, I think that that's. I think that now that the show is over with, he knows that his fame and his power is just gonna slowly dissolve, and that freaks him out. You know, you might be onto something, Anna. So. There, no, because the thing is, after a while, fame gets into your blood, right? And you're like, oh, I'm famous. And when you're not famous anymore, you're like, why aren't people recognize me? I'm Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> and. I don't know if that's fully taken over yet, but you might be, because you know the other day I was talking and I was like, oh my God, Seinfeld hasn't been on for over 10 years. Yeah. I can't believe how long it's been. And I bet you a lot of people don't recognize him anymore. And once they get super famous, that gets in their blood and he's probably secretly a little bitter about that. Exactly. No, Anna Kasparian's nailed it. She's analyzed it. That's what's happening. What can I say? Young Turks.